yeah I've been on the road thinking about you lately yeah. I gotta see you cause I get tired of waiting yeah. When I think about you, then my heart start racing My love and patience, yeah. my heart can't take it yeah. I think you're so beautiful At first I ain't know what to do with you I love her, that's the one so beautiful Now she only 24, she is savage I'll spend my life with you Get, get married tonight, that's the truth I'm Finna book a flight with you I ain't tell no lies, you just my type it's your girl Jolie Ming and I'm back on the scene doing my effing thing But you know what I mean, what? What? Bitch, you know what I mean, what? What? Bitch, I'm back with another video and I'm here bare-faced it Okay, is that even a word? I'm here with no makeup, no nothing to confuse you guys, no filter, no nothing on it Okay, so before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is where the mean babes stay and slay. Period. Okay, hit that like button if you like this video and make sure you drop a comment below. Basically, this is quarantine day, whatever, and quarantine right now got me not in the best mood. So if you don't feel my energy like my other videos, I apologize. Because quarantine got me like, I don't want to laugh, I don't want to play, I don't want nothing, I want to fight. No, I'm joking. But it do got me in a little, you know, mood. So, in this video, I wanted to do a skincare video because basically over the years, my skin has been shitty, good, shitty, and then good again. So, I can see why people enjoy these videos, look for these videos. And so, I just wanted to give my intake on everything. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. 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 Um, we're gonna start with how my skin was growing up. From elementary school all the way to high school, it was bomb. Like, my skin was good. It was fluorescing. Like, I was out here, like, beach, beach. Clear skin this, clear skin that. And then, motherfucking college hit me like, boom, boom. Like, it hit me like that. Like, I was in college and I was stressed. Everything was stressing me out, my relationship, my home, my motherfucking college, school, everything was stressing me out. And then I was on the basketball team, so it was just not going good for me. So my skin was really bad. I'm going to throw in some pictures. I tried to cover it up with makeup. The pictures is going to be like right here or something. I tried to like cover it up with makeup and bleh. it was not working for me. Like it was just bad, 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 bad. So these are the pictures. Makeup was not helping. Bare face was um. I'm not. I'm not going on side like that. I feel embarrassed. Like it was just making me feel like a whole asshole. Like it was just so bad. Like I hated it. Like so in college it was really bad. Honestly, I wasn't cleaning my face right. I was stressed. I wasn't drinking enough water, and basically my face was just going down the um wrong path. And I looked like a motherfucking crunch bar. So after all of that, what was it? I got pregnant. When I got pregnant, in the beginning of my pregnancy, my face was going good. Like, it was like, okay, it's clearing up, but then it was like hitting me. Like, every couple of months, it would just hit me. Like, bitch, you thought it. You thought it. You know, like, and it was not working out for me. It just wasn't. So then when I had my baby, it was still rocky, literally. <laughs> you get it? The, the bumps, it was like, broom, broom, broom. but it was clearing up more. So I'm like, I've never went to a doctor or nothing to check this out. So why not do that? Like, maybe that's the issue. Maybe I'm just not doing the right thing. I was buying products from the store that people or YouTube said might help. So I was doing that. And girl, that is the wrong thing. The only thing I could suggest is that you get checked out. Make sure you know what you're dealing with because there's different type of pimples. I have hormonal pimples. Honey, you gotta watch what you eat, do, drink, all of that. I also have stress pimples and I get pimples when my face is really dry. So I don't know the names of those. That's why I'm telling you, go get checked out if you have pimples that you cannot control. So I went to the doctor and they basically told me things like that. Like your skin is dry, then it's bitch, you're not doing it right. It's basically what they saying. I have to get my shit together. So after that, they gave me two different creams, a night cream, day cream, and they also recommended me some lotions and stuff. So basically in this video, I'm gonna show you those things. So first they recommended this one, just the day cream. They recommended this one, which is the night cream. These two 
together really makes a difference. Those are the two that they started me off with and as you can see, I'm still using them. They also recommended this one, which is what I use in my daily routine still. I use this, which is a and ointment that babies use for their butts. I also use this, use this. Now I'm going to tell you guys the order that I use all of that in. If I use my nighttime cream or daytime cream, I always wash my face first with this. Always. It could be any face wash, but this one works well for me. Sometimes I do go in with this cleaning scrub, but that's only when I need to exfoliate, and I don't exfoliate every day. For my creams, I always use either or. Um, sometimes I use both. This one right here, I never use it more than three times a week because this really dries out your face because it's really exfoliating and taking off dead skin and if you take off too much, bitch you bucket. So I use those first and then I use my daytime cream or nighttime cream which is what I showed you guys um, that the dermatologist gave me which are these two and when I put those on I rub it but then I pat it in as if I'm using a beauty blender on my face or something. I like literally dap it in like so it can get up in there. Then I use this which is a daily protection moisturizing cream and it's from Eucerin. It's basically, it has SPF 30. It's light. You get it either richer or lighter. I got the lighter kind because it's less um, compacted on my face. But the only thing, it does give a white flashback and that's why all the time I go in with this after. This kind of takes away the whiteness of the cream, the lotion whatever this is really good when you wear makeup too because it kind of um covers and blocks your pores from getting any of that makeup inside which i really like and i can see it's really doing something for me when i feel like my skin is not glowing the way i want it to at times i do use this e-oil which you can buy it from your local drugstore i use this because it contains vitamins that i probably won't eat every day I probably won't use on my skin every day and I know my skin needs. Comes in a little bottle but you only need a little bit, honestly, a drop. And it will spread across your whole face and you will see a difference. If you have dry skin, this is really good to moisturize it but this is not the only thing you need to put on to moisturize it. So, because it gives you color and moisture but your face might eat it up because it's vitamin. Your skin is actually taking it in. Those are the things that I use for my skin now. How my skin is right now is how it is. Those images that you saw earlier were how my face used to be so I'm gonna put another one right here and you can see the difference as I show you my face I do get pimples and breakouts sometimes depending on if I'm keeping up with the drinking the water if I'm keeping up with my routine which is major to always keep up with the routine which is what keeps your face consistent from not breaking out or things in that sort no I'm not a dermatologist but I'm just telling you guys what worked for me and you know what you can ask your dermatologist near you things like that but this is the end of the video I told you guys it was gonna be very short this is just me putting out there how my skin actually got better from all those rocky moments <laughs> but that's just how my face got better hope you guys enjoyed this video hope this does something for you allows you to explore something new when it comes to your face make sure you go get it checked out if nothing else over the counter is working for you and make sure you hit that subscribe button because this is where the main babes stay and slay period make sure you hit that like button and make sure you drop a comment down below referring to this video or any other video that you want to see later babies